Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Hadith of the Day, Ask a Question with myself, Yusuf Badat. And inshallah, I hope everybody is enjoying these uh, question and answer sessions. And we love to read your questions and give you this opportunity to get an Islamic perspective. So today's question is, um, I have read a hadith about angels not coming into a house which has pictures in it. I have young children and we do not have pictures in our house because we do not want to miss the blessings of the angels. Are we doing the right thing? And is this hadith authentic and true? So to answer this question, first of all, this hadith is authentic. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him, has indicated and, and mentioned in this narration and this report that the home that has any surah, and surah refers to a picture of an animate object, uh, or it also gives reference to a dog. Any home that has a dog or a, a picture of an animate object, uh, then the angels of mercy do not enter that space or that room or that home. So let's look at and, and, and dissect this particular narration. So uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him, is asking us to refrain from displaying a uh, animate picture, picture of an animate object. So we may have family photos, we may have um, uh, certain pictures that we have uh, printed, and uh, they may be in an album form, etc. So to have these kind of things in our homes is fine, provided they are not displayed and hung. You can keep them in your album, you can keep them closed and not in, uh, you know, in the open. Then that way the angels of mercy will come in that home. Now, uh, what's the reasoning behind this? The ulama and the scholars have given di different perspectives, uh, but one particular perspective that comes to mind is that because uh, initially idol worship began with pictures of animate persons. So there would be a pious individual uh, and uh, when he would pass away, he or she would pass away, they would draw a portrait and they would hang that uh, portrait. And then over the generations, that picture or that portrait became a, an idol and then over generations that idol was worshipped. And this was all the doings of the devil. So uh, when it comes to uh, pictures, we can keep them. If they're printed and, a, and, and, and they're a photo that's physical, then keep them in an album and keep them uh, tucked away in a drawer or somewhere in the home that is not open and displayed. Uh, when it comes to digital photos, again, they are in our uh, phones and our devices, our um, tablets, etc., our computers. That's absolutely fine uh, because uh, there are rays of light that appear. And then uh, once we uh, close the application or the photograph that is a digital photograph, it's no longer on the screen. It's no longer there. One particular point is necessary here is that the photos must be decent photos. They should not be vulgar. They should not be promiscuous. They should not be lewd. Uh, they should be upright and decent. So there you have it. Um, when it comes to uh, this hadith about photography and photos being displayed in the home, yes, it, it blocks angels of mercy from coming into our home. So we want the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And kudos to this family, whoever has asked this question, you're doing the right thing. And inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and your family and all of you that are listening to this program and watching here. So we'll see you in the next session. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.